What are your thoughts about universities taking certain books off reading lists because they might be problematic or distressing to the reader? I think we have to recognise that students are a lot more robust than we think they are. I mean, I happen to think that our universities are remarkable institutions and are world-leading institutions. I've benefited from them, my children have as well. They're amazing places. But I do think we have to recognise the fact that young people are more robust than we sometimes expect them to be. Uh, and I think that, that the cut and thrust of different points of view is absolutely crucial. And I think... Part of growing up is recognising that you can have differences with people and learn to live with them. You know, you and I may disagree, but we can disagree in a gracious and a positive way. And I think that that is, has to be integral to all that education. I mean, I'm a comprehensive teacher, was in the past, uh, taught for 35 years. I always said to my kids in my classroom, you can ask questions, um, you know, as long as you, don't rude, as long as you don't swear in front of me, you know, because obviously, you know, there are limits. Um, but you can ask questions, you can raise issues. We must be able to look at difficult questions and difficult issues because that is what education is all about. That's right. We saw uh, Professor, uh, was it Catherine, Catherine um, uh, uh, Stott, uh, I forget, my, my brain uh, has completely escaped me, uh, Stock, Kath Kathleen Stock, who was hounded out of her job from the University of Sussex because she insisted or maintained that there are two biological sexes. Do you think that universities have become ideological echo chambers? It's hard to tell because I'm not from the higher education sector, so mm. I'm, I'm speaking to somebody sort of looking from the outside, so I, I have to recognise that. But I, I think there certainly has been a move within some institutions to try to shut down debate, and I think that's a mistake. I think we should be more confident in our views, mm. I think we should not be uh, defensive of our points of view, and I think robust discussion is what education is all about and I think we need to teach young people to disagree nicely uh, to be able to have different points of view to be able to exchange those points of view in a respectful way and then be able to walk away and say well I didn't agree with you you didn't agree with me but I'm still not going to beat you up and you're not going to beat me up either and we need to have that kind of that kind of debate really and surely it wouldn't do students any harm to read a book about the horrors of slavery even if it's graphic because that's the point of the book and I've got no doubt that your book on the Third Reich is pretty graphic too, and your books on the Vikings. Absolutely. I mean, um, I happen to have read uh, The Underground Railway, and it is graphic, and there were times that I'm thinking, it's just appalling, I'm shocked, it's terrible. But, of course, that was exactly what I was supposed to think, yeah. because it is appalling. And I think it is important that we don't isolate ourselves from experiences of reality.